friends, today is Sunday, February 5th, 2017, and I just got home from watching the Super Bowl with my guy, and uh, it was a good game, it was a tight game, but that's not why I'm here today. I'm here to talk about my ear stretching journey, and I've been wanting to make this video for quite a while, but now that I am officially at my goal size, double zero, I figured I'd go ahead and make the video. So, to start things off, I got my ears pierced, my first lobes, these ones right here. Um, I think I was three months old, and I think it was my ear doctor that did it. He and his assistant, medical assistant. Um, I'd imagine, I know it was with a gun, which is not advisable, but I'd imagine he was at one side and she was at the other, and one, two, three, go, kind of thing. But, uh, so, years and years went on with uh, what I think was maybe an 18 gauge, maybe 20 gauge, whatever the standard initial size is for that. Um, I think I was in my early to mid 20s, I would say probably about 15 years ago, give or take. I finally decided to stick a 14 gauge in there. So I bought like, um, I want to say it was a circular barbell. Maybe it was a captive bead ring, I don't know. But it was circular so that I can kind of fit it through. And it was 14 gauge so I stuck it through no problem. And I went around like that for quite a while before I moved up to 12 gauge. And I would probably say at least a few months before I moved up to a 12 gauge and I bought a pair of captive bead rings in a 12 gauge. They fit right through, no problem. And then a few months more later, I went ahead and tried a 10 gauge. These, these are all dead stretching and um, I was able to get away with that because I did it for a while and uh, there was really no resistance, no pain or anything. but. When I went to put my 10 gauge through, um, I felt it a little more, but it was not painful. It was just tight. So I went around like that for the longest time, probably years, probably at least five years or so. Um, maybe give or take five years before I decided to put a uh, an 8 gauge double flared tunnel through. So I did that, and no problem, you know, it was uh, big enough I can get away with actually dead stretching with a double flare 8 gauge tone. So, I was probably, I don't know, maybe late 20s when I did that, so I'll probably say maybe 10 years ago, maybe 12, mm, 12 maybe, <clears throat> about 12 years ago. And then, from an 8 gauge, um, what happened was, a few months ago I was at work and I did something, I don't know what it was, but I noticed something hitting my shoulder like that and I don't know, I didn't pay much attention. I just kind of went about my day and it was hours later before I was like, hmm, my earring's missing, you know? So I was like, oh man, my tunnel's missing. So I had to go after work and get a whole nother pair of 8 gauge double flare tunnels. And the pair, the new pair that I bought, I couldn't buy just one because the place that I bought it from, they just sold them in pairs, which is no big, so you know, I just went ahead and bought the pair, and which is probably a good thing because the, the pair, the flare on those were bigger than the old ones. So I went ahead and switched them out. So I went around like that for, ooh, a year? No, less than a year. And I thought, you know, I am going to start stretching my ears. So I went ahead and I bought a an ear stretching kit that went from 8 gauge all the way up to double zero. And I, at the time I bought it, I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to stop at a zero gauge or if I wanted to go all the way to double zero. So the, the pair or the, the set that I had, the, the stretching kit, had a double zero in there. So I thought, well, there's my answer. You know, I'm going to go all the way with it. So I went ahead and... I would not advise doing this, but I'll be honest with you guys, I went ahead and I skipped 
the six gauge because I figured, you know, I had the eight gauge for eons and a half and I just went ahead and took my taper and it just, you know, it took me forever and a half. But finally I went to a four gauge, skipping six altogether and it was torture. If you guys are going to do this, take my word for it, don't. Because your ears, if you, if you do that, you're going to get a blowout. I am shocked and amazed that I did not get a blowout. I'm surprised that my ears did not bleed, but they hurt so bad. And even afterwards, like hours and hours, even to, into the next day, my ears were yelling at me. So I went around with a four, a four gauge until it healed up and I thought, okay, well, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm ready for a two gauge. And it wasn't a month. They say to wait a month between each stretch. And I'm a rebel. I went up. Anyway, I took that taper and I just, I didn't shove it through this time. I just went ahead and slowly, but I waited long enough so that it healed and I didn't want to go through that torture again. So by the time I was able to stick a two gauge taper all the way through, it didn't hurt at all. I was like, you know what, this is, this is what it's supposed to feel like. So I went ahead and, you know, glided it through and I, it was one of those tapers that actually screws on to your tunnel like as one piece but it's two it just kind of screws on it's a kit i bought from bod fx and it's called screwed up because it just kind of screws on to the taper and i highly recommend those the only one thing i don't like about the tapers are that they're short and it's not as gradual so when it gets to the straight part of the actual tunnel it's kind of um there's a ridge because it's just if I had it on me, I would show you what I'm talking about, but, um, yeah, uh, I, if you see my other video talking about the stretched, um, the screwed up kit from Bonifex, you'll see what I'm referring to, and I even compare another taper, a longer one, to it. But anyway, long story short, I went around with the two gauge for quite a while, and I thought, okay, well, you know, I'll just go ahead and stretch up to the zero. So I did that. And it was a little more painful than the 2-gauge, but it was doable. So, I was, once I reached the 0-gauge, I was at the point where I had to start taping to actually make the next size more doable. So I did that. I used Teflon tape, and I would, every day, uh, once my ears healed up from the 0-gauge stretch, I would go ahead and take my t uh, tunnels out, and I would put... Teflon tape about two layers ar around it each day and pop them in and uh, One day probably about a week a week and a half with the zero gauge I'm kind of sitting there playing with them, you know seeing how well they're doing and I've got about I would say eight layers on each tunnel of uh, Teflon tape so I managed to pull my tunnel all the way through and it's um, kind of a, a screw fit tunnel with double flares, but with the tape on, it made it seem like one, um, one like unit kind of thing. So I was able to pull it all the way through my ear. So I thought, you know, I'm ready for a, a double zero. So I went ahead and I got the kit ready. I loaded it up. I stuck the taper in, and voila, here I am. So I'm at a double zero gauge. This is what they look like with the uh, silicone tunnels in. Um, I thought about stretching a little more, but no, I'm not gonna do that because I got a bunch of um, plugs here that I keep in this little container. And I even got some more, so uh, I'll be unboxing those in a few days so you want to keep your eye, eye out for that but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and stay at a double zero I know everybody says that everybody says oh I reached my goal I size I'm gonna stay here I'm not gonna stretch you but I I really not I did the research I saw what the 7 16th and a half inch look like they look really cool um, maybe sometime down the road I might do that but as for right now I'm gonna enjoy what I have so, 
that's my stretching journey. Unfortunately, I didn't include any footage with this because I don't have footage of each stretch. But uh, I do have some footage of some of my stretches that you can go ahead and check out if you like. And uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that wonderful, awesome stuff that you guys do. And uh, I will see you in my next video.